requires the spacewalkers to remove more than 100 screws to access a computer card they will pull out and replace. You know, we have a team of engineering experts that have come up with an ingenious solution to this problem, but the crew members are basically you know, inside the telescope removing these 100 tiny screws in order to get at a circuit card um, in, this, in these instruments and, and then replace it. And so um, it requires a lot of very fine motor skills on their part, and of course they're wearing these big oven mitts on their hands, which makes it very challenging. The Hubble spacewalks won't be the only things that differ from missions to the space station. Without the station crew to give the shuttle a once-over and photograph its heat shield, the customary survey of the heat shield done the day after launch will be much more intensive. The crew will use the shuttle robotic arm and its 50-foot boom extension and sensor systems to perform not only the standard nose and wing edges inspection, but also a survey of the upper crew cabin and the entire underside of the shuttle. In the unlikely event that irreparable damage is found, the crew won't be able to get to the space station to wait for a ride home. Atlantis can't reach the station from Hubble's orbit. So we will shelter in place on our orbiter, power down to extend the life, the oxygen supplies that we have, the CO2 removal systems, and we can go up to roughly 25 days waiting for somebody to come up to us. For STS-125, another shuttle will be standing ready on Kennedy Space Center's launch pad 39B. If needed, Space Shuttle Endeavour, manned by four of the astronauts from the STS-126 mission that flew in November 2008, will be ready to launch and retrieve Atlantis's crew within days. Two shuttles would uh, kind of rendezvous, and since we don't have a docking system, we're going to use the arm and attach an arm from one to the other and sort of fly close formation and then slide up and down the arm making the transfers of the crew between the two vehicles. Once Atlantis is cleared for landing, Endeavour will be moved from launch pad 39B to adjacent launch pad 39A to begin preparations for its launch on an assembly mission to the International Space Station. The Hubble Space Telescope doesn't make discoveries. People make discoveries. And the Hubble is the ultimate team machine. Just to be able to go service the Hubble Space Telescope, we need seven astronauts and a space shuttle. And that space shuttle needs tens of thousands of people all to do their job right before it can successfully get to Hubble. And it's an amazing group of people, so enthusiastic, so excited that we're doing this mission. And when I've met some of these people and they tell me their stories about how for 20 years they've been part of this project practically, it's amazing and it, it's very exciting and you want to do your best work to help you know, these people with the dream that they've been working on for 20 years. It's an amazing group of people. When you look at that whole ensemble of, of the team, uh, I think it's something that this country should be very proud of.